Hi everyone, I'm Haley, coach at Learn Grant Writing and founder of Gold Niles Grant Writing. My journey as a grant consultant started in 2022 and I filmed a really fun video about a day in the life at the beginning of my journey while I was still working in-house. At times, I was working 50 hour weeks. I loved it, but my days were also jam packed. Since then, a few things have changed. I'm part-time, about two to five hours a week, working as a coach and content creator for Learn Grant Writing and 20 hours a week working on my own business. If you're thinking about grant writing, come join me for a realistic video view of what a typical day in the life of a grant writer looks like. Be sure to like and subscribe for in-depth content about grant writing and consulting. All right, let's get into it. All right, so welcome to the Golden Isles Grant Writing Office. I am here today to kind of walk you through what I do in a day. So planning for the week starts the week before. I like to take my Fridays to plan the week ahead and I use old fashioned pen and paper as well as online calendars like Google Calendar and ClickUp, which is my project management software, but it all starts here on paper. This is something that we teach in the collective as well. It's called the big three. Basically something that we've adopted amongst the learning great writing team as well as within the collective and kind of keeps me on task for the week. This week's big three for work is work on a funding strategy draft, work on a contract and make sure that it's sent to a client or grant administration services and then film YouTube videos. Those are my big three. Another goal, so this is 3.5 is what I put, uh, is register for the GPCI exam. And then my personal big three is to pack for a trip that we have this weekend to Kansas City, shop for an Easter dress, because Easter is in a couple weeks, and have progress on my book that I'm reading right now. And then each day is kind of themed. So Mondays are my admin days. So I'm working on things like project management, working on my calendar, doing bookkeeping, anything that has to do with the business, but not directly with the projects that I'm working on. It's also one of the days that I'm in Circle for the week with the collective. We have an online platform called Circle, essentially it operates like Discord or a Facebook group. It has several channels that each of the coaches manage. So Monday is my day to pop into Circle and talk to members of the collective, help answer their questions. And then Tuesdays are typically meeting days for me. Right now I'm not super busy. I've got inquiries coming in, but this week is kind of a light week. Wednesday, which is today, is another Circle day. And today we're filming YouTube videos. Today we're filming This Day in Life, but we're also filming another video as well. So let's talk about how I structure my day. Obviously everything revolves around my top three priorities for the day. What I like to do to implement those priorities is what's called time blocking. Typically this is on a much busier day with meetings. But what I like to do is make sure that I'm getting plenty of breaks during the day. So what I do is I use what's called a Pomodoro timer. Some people have like a physical Pomodoro timer. I just use the timers off of YouTube. What I do is you know, pick a playlist. Sometimes it has music in the background, but essentially what a Pomodoro timer is, is making sure that you're intentionally taking a break. So you work for, sometimes they're 45 minutes, sometimes they're an hour and a half time blocks. I like to work for an hour straight and then the timer goes off and I have a 15 minute break. So sometimes, I mean, usually I stand up and go outside and go on a quick walk around the block. It's so beautiful here in downtown Brunswick. I love walking by the stores or in there's several pocket parks around here. So I just take a quick walk, make sure I'm getting a break, eat a snack, you know, just get up and move and shut my brain off from work. Then I come back after that 15 minute break and then I'm on for another hour sprint. That's essentially how I structure my day. It's how I use Pomodoro timer. Okay, so while Heath is setting up the camera for us to film YouTube videos here at the studio, I am hopping on circle really quick because as I mentioned, as a coach at Learn Grant Writing, my responsibilities are two days a week, hopping in the community group into our online platform called Circle. So I'll just hop in and kind of give you a little sneak peek behind the scenes tour of Circle. So basically, this is what our community group looks like when you're on the home page and what my responsibility is is to hop into each of our main channels so intros is a channel we make sure that we get multiple responses from our side it looks like I have quite a few posts to respond to and making sure that members 
feel welcome. And then I go basically through each of our main channels and find out what posts need responses. We have a random channel, we have grant research, grant writing, we have a pen to polished course, which is really cool. So I can kind of see the behind the scenes of the course layout and also the community group questions. We also have info interview Q&A. We have an opportunities channel where members that have different opportunities or like potential client work, they can post those opportunities here. We have a business development channel. And then we also have like peer unicorn groups. So one of them is AI and grant writing. So for our members that are interested in that, we have an ongoing AI project right now, which is super special. We have an in-house grant writing channel. I'm in here a lot just because I have experience with that, but mainly it's connecting with peer unicorns and they kind of, you know, jump in and give advice to each other. Faith-based grant writers, that's something that I kind of take up and respond to regularly. And then we have the 5% Club Mastermind. So this is for people that have made over 50K in their business. And yeah, I posted a question here earlier and I got it answered by my friend Melissa. Thanks, Melissa. So basically, I just make sure that all of these posts are responded to within a timely manner. We like to respond within 24 to 36 hours is our metric and making sure that all questions are fully answered. It's one of my favorite parts about being a coach, coming into the community group and just getting really energized, seeing everybody's wins and also just being able to help them in their journey. So that's a little bit about Circle. All right, so I'm kind of just finishing up my post here, making sure that each post is answered to and um, all questions are fully answered and looks like Heath is ready now for us to film some YouTube videos. So we'll get back to it. Thanks for coming alongside me for this day in the life tour. Hopefully you can understand a little bit more about how flexible your schedule can be as a grant writer. Don't forget that not every day will be like this for me, but I think you'll be surprised at how many days you can experience that are similar to this. There are seasons you dig in deep, getting big applications out the door, and lighter seasons where you catch up on soul care time. If this lifestyle is appealing to you, I highly recommend checking out the survey linked below, gauging if you would enjoy a career in grant writing or not. I hope you found this day in the life helpful to see what is possible for you if you're a burnt out professional looking for something different.